so I, if you go back probably 100 to 150 years ago, this landscape would have had a much higher percentage of long-lived tree species like white pine. And after uh, a lot of those white and red pine were harvested and sent off to market, what you saw was natural regeneration occurring in a different way than it had in the past. And now at this point in time, as we're looking where we're at here in 2019, we have a lot of interest in trying to reset the balance. So we need to find better methods to not only plant white pine, but maintain them and make it more economical because almost everyone gets that restoring white pine and restoring red pine and other long-lived tree species is a good thing, getting to a better balance. How we get there is where Ryla Woods Foundation wants to help be part of the solution. But we have to be a little smarter as a society about trying to think out not just 50 years in advance, but maybe 150 years in advance. What are these forests going to look like in 150 years? We are going to be a, have a far more resilient landscape with a tree that can live for 350 years. The health of this place, you know, can really be judged by the amount of white pine on the landscape. I think the big thing for brook trout is it keeps the water cool, and that that that's what's that's what brook trout need is they're um, very sensitive to, to warm water temperatures so they have to have consistently cold water all summer long. Brook trout are the indicator species and if brook trout can exist here pretty much everything else that is a part of this place, this system, can continue to exist. This country runs better wet than dry. The forest also captures water and retains it so that allows the stream uh, during times of drought or no rain uh, to continue to have a flow because there's seepage coming in from the forest basically the forest is you know the heart of the stream. <laughs>